Hey, what's up guys? Andrew's Vintage Toys here, and today I'm going to be doing another RC video, and this video is going to be on my RC28, as you see right here in the picture, or video, um, and it's going to be a little bit of driving it on my track, and then a little bit of talking. So the first thing I want to get into is, now, if many of you probably don't, have the real version of this which is the RC10 um you won't believe how small this car is compared to the real one now luckily I was able to get a hold of one and there that is my RC10 I do not know what year it is it's an A stamp car um, so that's like one of the like beginnings of them because they had A, B, and C stamp. So this is how small the RC28 is compared to the 110 scale version. Like literally I have the back wheels at each other and <laughs> it's kind of funny. Because you got 110 scale and then you got 128 scale but... Let me show you guys my RC-10. It's a gold pan car, and it is an original car. Give you guys a little overview of the car. We got a Hong Nor receiver in it, and then a Novak speed controller, uh, for top servo. Um, now the guy who I got this from, he cut the original shock tower. So when he raced this thing, he had the lowering kit on it. So you, this piece right here lowers the shocks and it makes the car lower to the ground because the shocks would be like up to here and stuff so that's that um the guy also had like these little triangle things right here and he had these shocks like so collapsed and he hooked the shocks up to those triangle plates I mean, it was all sorts of humbo jumbo and stuff, but I took the shocks, put them back up here, like they're supposed to be. I don't know where I put the wing. I'm gonna have to find that one of these days. Um, this is the rear body mount. Now, unfortunately, since he put this lowering kit on here, this gets in the way of the body because the body mount is supposed to hook and screw right where this is because the shocks would be on attached to the the shock plate shock tower um so yeah about that um but anyways it does have the original associated motor in it if you guys can tell maybe yeah. i can't get a good view of it oh yeah there you go the original team associated motor now usually when these guys back in the 80s and 90s these guys would do all sorts of stuff drive them on cement and these gold pans would get all scratched up and stuff but the cool thing about this car is not even a scratch Now this is one of the early ones because it is a very, very light gold where when they started getting more into them, it was more like this type of gold. But I'll show you guys the A. Can you guys make out the A stamp? Yep, that's the A. But that's my RC-10. So let's get back to the RC-28. Okay, 
It's so funny. Sorry about that, guys. My camera died there. Well, let's go drive this thing on my dirt track. I'll see you outside. All right, guys. I'm outside now on my dirt track. As you guys can see, right there is my RC28. Let's go drive this thing. Take it slow the first lap. Hit the jump. Up. Oh, almost, almost flipped it there. Oh, I flipped it, guys. I flipped it. Alright, guys. I flipped the car back on its uh, wheels. Alright. I, I, I don't know what to say. This It has no front suspension. So, the car likes to flip. And it's not the best rear suspension. So... It's not really my fault, f me flipping it from driving it. It's just the way they have the suspension on it. So, yeah, guys. All right, flipped it back on its wheels. Okay, that was, a, that was a fail on the jump. Alright guys, well, I don't want to bore you guys to death with uh, me keep crashing and you guys just watch me driving slowly and there's not really much like the funny stuff so let's just cue the cool and not my god i'm sorry let's just cue the cool shots of me driving Well guys, thank you guys for watching. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you'd like. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!